friends, welcome to a special episode that will take us to the very heart of intrigue, violence and mysteries surrounding the confrontation in Sonora. Today we will delve into a story that has the incarnation on edge. So buckle up, because what we will uncover today could change everything we thought we knew. What's happening in Sonora? On Highway 100, Hermosillo Valle de Quino, the desert dust meets with the fog of a confrontation that had left everyone wondering what really happened. Joel Hitman, member of the criminal cell, Los Cazadores, were gone down in a shootout that shook the foundations of the region. But that's not all. Seven more fled, enveloping themselves in the shadow of the night. All was summarize up to here, right? Well, now it is where things get even more intriguing. Rumors, gossip, and speculations began to sprout like weeds. There was talk of nothing more and nothing less than the alleged sighting of Ivana Chivaldo, the son of the infamous El Chapo Guzman, who is rumored to let the Chapitos faction of the Sinaloa Corto. The heir of a criminal dynasty captured in the midst of a shootout, the internet was ablaze with theories and debates and attention was more focused on Sonora than ever before. However, as is often the case in this world of shadows and secrets, rebel agencies rushed to deny the capture of Ivan Echivaldo. Was it just a game of speculation? Or is there something deeper behind this curtain of misinformation? But what came next, friends? It was truly has astonish. The mysterious white shark that witnessed and participated in the scale of the hitman became the center of attention in several social media posts. And here comes the most shocking part. According to various sightings, the shark was not escaping alone, but was being escorted by security forces. What is supposed to mean? Are we facing a net of collaboration between government forces and criminals? Or is it simply a reflection of complexity of the fights against organized crimes in Mexico? The question continued to pile up, and the answer seems to be shrouded in a plug of uncertainty. Now, dear viewer, we invite you to be an active part of this journey. Subscribe to not miss any updates. Activate the notification bell to be the first to discover the latest revelations. And, of course, Let us know your opinion in the comments. Your support and participation are what make this investigative project possible. And together, we will unravel the secrets of Sonora. So, like, subscribe and share. And get ready for one of the most impactful journeys we've undertaken so far. In the tangled web of the dark war in Sonora, through emerges like a floating mermaid the shadows of disinformation and confusion. Sonoran authorities have raised their voices to clarify a disturbing deception. Al Chapito was not traveling in those trucks. What dark purpose lies behind this farce that threatened to envelop us in a narrative worthy of a thriller? When initial reports of the armed confrontation in Sonora emerged, speculations pointed to the presence of one of the sons of Joaquin El Chapito's men. Ivan Chivaldo, identified as the leader of Los Chapitos, a powerful faction of the Sinaloa cartel was at the center of conjecture. However, amid this confusion, reality looms over as the confirmation of the arrest of Carlos Humberto and linked to the alleged leader of Los Cazadores, El Chubeto. From the capital of the country, the shadow of disinformation spread with the alleged presence of El Chapito in the conflict. Gustavo Romulo Salas head of the Sonora Prosecutor's Office revealed that false information about the involvement of El Chapo's sons originated from Mexico City, a digital platform operating in the shadows, faceless and scrupulous, spread the news like poison, sowing chaos and distrust. Romulo Salas firmly refused any indication of the involvement of El Chapo's sons in the events. The capture of Carlos Humberto and trigger an armed response culminating in the fatalities of 12 individuals. Authority hypothesis suggests that those involved such to rescue El Chubeto's son, arrested in 2021, identified as the head of the Los Cazadores criminal cell, linked to Los Chapitos. 
the Sonora Prosecutor Office has a new nuance to the drama, reporting that Carlos Humberto N. faces charges of drug dealing and remains in preventive custody. On January 24th, a new chapter will be written in the courts, deciding of the judicial fate of this man caught in the wheeling of organized crime. Meanwhile, the shadow claimed a new victim, Edwin C., alias El Moreno, a Ligia Plus chief of Los Cazadores. The board of the deadly gang transformed, while reality fades into the fog of violence and betrayal. Thus, in this dark labyrinth of distorting information, only one certainty remains. The complexity of organized crimes in Sonora unfolds like an unsolved enigma. What else awaits in the shadows? The answer lies in the next act of this relentless and heartbreaking drama. Because someone is not telling the truth about who was the white truck that escaped from the confrontation, the enigma persists. Was Ivan Echivaldo truly absent, or was he the hidden figure in the shadow of an operation more complex than it appears? Social media erupts once again with the information suggesting that Sonora police escorted this permanent member of the Sinaloa cartel along a significant highway in the region. This revelation sheds a disturbing light on the perceived corruption rooted within Mexican law enforcement and ignites a fervent debate about the intricate relationship between authorities and drug cartels. Images and videos shared by users on social media depict a convoy of police vehicles surrounding and escorting the court for seem to be transporting the son of the notorious drug lord, as it was the same white turk that fled the company in Sonora on the day when 12 gunmen, members of Los Cazadores, were killed. This end has not only triggered a way of criticism toward the Sonora authorities, but has also stirred the water of suspicion feeling the widespread belief in complicity between Cortes and law enforcement in Mexico. Corruption within Mexican security forces is not a new evil. It is a shadow that has persisted for decades. Reports of corrupt elements infiltrating the police, the army, and other institutions tasked with combating organized crime has been constant. This situation further complicates the fight against Cortes as their infiltration into state structures has been a force by authorities to maintain order. The case of the alleged court of Ivan Chivalo is just the tip of the iceberg, illustrating the alleged complicity between law enforcement and cartels. Although Sonora authorities argue security reasons, the lack of trust among many Mexicans in this explanation is evident. Viewing this event as a clear indication of the eroded integrity of security forces in the country. The relationship between drug traffickers and Mexican authorities has been a constant subject of controversy and has been the focus of numerous investigations and allegations over the years. Accusation of collaboration, bribery, and protection of cartels operation by some elements of the Mexican government persist although they have been vehemently denied by authorities. The presence of drug cartels and corruption within authorities contribute to the cycle of adversity playing in the country. Ineffectiveness in combating cartels allows these groups to operate with relative impunity, resulting in alarming levels of adversity. Combating corruption presents a monumental challenge for the Mexican government despite the force it may in recent years to tackle it and strengthen institutions. The Alex court of Ivana Chivaldo Guzman Salazar by the Sonora police thus become a tangible example of the corruption and complicity it strains with the Mexican institutions. These situations represent a significant challenge that requires redouble the force to eradicate corruption, strengthening institutions and, virtually, restore society confidence in the rule of law. The task facing the Mexican government is monumental, demanding unwavering dedication to overcome these structural challenges and rebuild the foundations of security and legality in the country. This enlightening journey through the intricate threads of the recent controversy surrounding Ivana Chivado Guzman Salazar, son of the infamous Sinaloa cartel leader, Joaquin Chapo Guzman, 
has uncovered a complex plot that reveals a persistent corruption. It's still a critical challenge in Mexico's law enforcement. Let's begin by recalling the initial events. Sonora authorities firmly reiterated that El Chapito was not present in the vehicles involved in their own confrontation. The confirmed capture was that of Carlos Alberto, identified as the son of Jesus Humberto Limón López, alias El Chubeto, linked to the criminal cell Los Cazadores. However, this turn of events only served as a prelude of the looming injury. The narrative took an unexpected turn when reports emerged, primarily on social media, suggesting that Ivana Chivado has been seen being escorted by Sonora police along a major highway. Images and videos shared by users raise doubts and fuel the flames of suspicion regarding complicity between drug cartels and law enforcement in Mexico. Sonora authorities facing these accusations argue that the score was for an official and was due to security reasons. However, as we can imagine, this excuse was labeled as a lie by the public, as they linked the score truck with the one that led the confrontation. The lack of trust from the public in this explanation is palpable. The persistent corruption in Mexican security forces, a problem denounced for decades, gets doubt of any official claim. This episode highlights a systemic problem that has plagued the Mexican government's force to effectively combat organized crime, infiltration and complicity within the very institutions stacks with maintaining law and order. The fight against cartel is compromised when those responsible for combating them are suspected of being colluded with them. The relationship between drug cartels and Mexican authorities has been a constant subject of controversy. Although accusation of corruption and collaboration have been officially rejected, the reality is that the continued presence of cartels in Mexico will not be possible without the complicity of certain sectors of the state. This phenomenon not only weakens governmental efforts to address the problem, but also perpetuates adversity in the country. Corruption and collusion with cartels pose a significant challenge for the Mexican government. Despite the force made in recent years to combat these evils and strengthen institutions, the reality is that the problems persist, undermining the state's ability to ensure security and the rule of law in the country. In conclusion, the case of Ivana Chivaldo and the series of events surrounding it not only highlights the complexity of organized crimes in Mexico, but also underscores the urgency of addressing the corruption strength in institutions. Lack of integrity in law enforcement not only undermines public trust, but also prevents authorities from effectively dismantling criminal networks. At this point, it is essential for Mexican society and the international community to closely monitor these events. Transparency and accountability are crucial to overcoming these challenges and building a safer and fairer Mexico. Citizen participation and public pressure are powerful tools to demand meaningful changes in government policies and practices. To conclude, we want to thank you for joining us on this informative journey. Your support is unavailable, and we want to invite you to subscribe, activate notification, leave a like, and share your comments. Your backing makes investigative projects like this possible, and together we can contribute to building a more just and secure future. Until next time.